Hi everyone, welcome to our new video. <coughs> Today we're going to fix to show you how did we fix the problem of the printer when it says destination host unreachable. So <coughs> I gave the printer um, what they call a static IP, right? And uh, unfortunately, I'm going to show. You, I'm not going to show you how I made it, but uh, it's an old printer, Ricoh. Uh, 1515 uh, but I'm using wind what Linux uh, Ubuntu not Windows uh, but it's the same thing uh, if you on the printer it's the same thing and also on the laptop it couldn't be different much right so whenever I could ping the IP this IP I was getting a what a wrong uh, this message which says it says you can see how I started ping here then it says unreachable no I pinged here where uh, down down here here it tells me that tells me that unreachable unreachable bytes of data and all that you get me so how did I make it work um, after making the settings so okay sometimes the memory can still remain in the printer so what you do go switch off your printer go switch off your modem take out all cables from printer and modem if it's possible but anyway it could happen like it's a huge network you cannot do all of that so the first step is switch off your printer take out the power cable from the printer right take off the network cable from the printer right then switch on your printer that's all I did then switch back the printer on then the power cable in so now you're gonna see when you ping this gonna work but make sure don't worry about the 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 what uh, the DSN server and all that you can use the IP on it. set up your IP to be static you get me so <coughs> so that you don't get in much into trouble because if you don't do static it's gonna give you much stress you get me so uh that's the only thing so because <coughs> you might have a problem with the dhcp issues if you don't give the printer <coughs> the what the static ip so you must give the printer the static ip that's when it's gonna work but if you don't do that it's gonna be issue so now this ping and see you can see the previous pings and these pings worked the previous one didn't work i'm gonna just say ip i oh, know it's gonna be ping 192.168.8.60 then you say okay you can see that all oh, my pings are fine they are not like these ones it's say unreachable To stop the pings on your keyboard you say control C okay now that's fine so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to settings and say printers <coughs> Now I'm gonna be able to add my printer, right? I'm searching. Okay. What we do? We can even search by IP and say 192.168.8. That same IP number. You can see what we get. We get this printer. So we're gonna say add. Then you look for the specific brand for it. Uh, some 
people use these drivers the NGR I'm gonna use the right constraint you can see what it gives me a yeah, lot of models I'm looking for 1515 It's a very old machine. I wish I could see it. Here's 1515. You can see we get the 1515 PS. I'm gonna select the PS, right? Let's select. After selecting that, the printer is added, right? Because it's the same, but you can see this PX. You can say restart. It's the same machine but we can also now we can see that it's a pxl we can do this we can uh, remove this printer okay that's fine then we go back to we can go back to setting When you go to setting that printer is gone but we can to we can add the printer because I had connected it by cable that's why you saw the PX so I want to use the same address ah same drivers Okay, what we do, we're gonna type in our IP address 192.168.8.60. Okay, it's here. We look for Raiko Toshiba Raiko, then 1515. It was somewhere you saw it. This is the P uh, 50 ds yes, this one. These are the drivers we're looking for. We take that. Yes. Took that, but it's not coming here. can see it's here it says 1515 is ready I wanna you can see I wanna make it as a default printer so then I'm gonna try to print out since it's ready and it's default I'm gonna try to print out yes okay print I don't want to waste paper, I'll just put a dot and print. You can see it's selected. Say OK. Yes, guys, it's printing 100%. You can see doing it is not difficult, but you have to unplug everything. I had the same issue. I hope that helped, guys. Uh, thanks for watching and see you in the next video.